What is up guys, Razor here, welcome back to Final Fantasy V Pixel Remaster for the PC. I'm here in the Gil Cave, and I want to get to a random battle around here. There's a new enemy I want to show off here, and it's Undergrounder. Let's go ahead and take it out here, and then we'll leave the cave. Oh, we don't want to explore this cave right now. Uh, we will be coming back here later, of course. Alright. That's all I wanted to do. I wanted to show that enemy off. Go ahead and battle it. It seems like every time I use rapid fire with a ninja, he attacks the same enemy over and over again. I do really like rapid fire though, because it's like, it's awesome attacking more than once. But man, is it like, I'm like really bad of RNG. <laughs> like every, if there's two enemies in the, in the battle, there's a 50-50 chance per attack that you'll attack the other enemy. Or there's a 50-50 chance that we'll attack the enemy, the same enemy again. But it seems like I attack the same enemy like four times in like in a row. So which basically means I miss a 50-50 four times in a row. It's crazy. And that's what battles against three enemies. With three enemies, it's like. What would it be like a 33% chance? 33 point like 3 or something. And I still even with 3 enemies in the battle I still attack the same enemy. Never lucky as they say. Anyway let's go into our Drickenvale here. I do want to use a cottage before we enter, of course. And before we enter Drakenville, guys remember Byblos? And how I could I could have learned a blue magic from that enemy or from that boss, I mean. Uh, we'll be able to get that blue magic spell that I missed earlier in this next coming up area. Alright, Drakenvale. There's six chests in this area and one item to get here as well. And we got new to me here, Lai. Lai I don't know how to pronounce that. Lai I have. I don't know. <laughs> I probably butchered both times, but oh well. Okay, so we got two paths we can take here. Try this path first. Aha! 5,000 gil. Alright. It's pretty good. Give me all the gil. Okay, here's the enemy we can learn the blue magic ability from. But the problem is, I don't know if I set a... Uh... Yeah, let's just do auto. I don't know if I set learning or not, so I'm not gonna... See, look at this. 50-50. Stop attacking the same one. Literally 50-50. I'm so unlucky with rapid fire. It's not even funny. Yeah, see, I had blue magic on. Let's learn. I gotta encounter another one of those drippies. Okay, we got another new enemy here. Zombie Dragon. Oh, you can actually heal this enemy or you could use like... Oh, you could use like a phoenix down and kill it instantly. Obviously I'm not going to do that, but you can, 
and you could heal it to damage it. I think rapid fire will be good enough to probably take it out here. Yep, there we go. If you have a bunch of Phoenix Downs lying around, just throw a Phoenix Down at it and take it out relatively quickly. Okay, we got a question mark here. Or triple question mark, should I say. Okay, so this enemy right here, Golem, is actually a summon that you can get. Um, it, triple question mark, but it's, um, it's Golem. You have to defeat it in order to get the Golem summon. It, what it does is it'll attack you once and then it'll flee. Oops, I went the wrong way. Okay, we got no enemy here. Oops, didn't mean to use auto here. Um, but, no enemy, Poison Eagle. I didn't mean to do that. That's cool. Finish it off with rapid fire. Speed it up here. Animation for rapid fire is really slow. Because it's so many attacks. I think it's like a guaranteed dragon fang from that battle. We've got two back-to-back -back dragon things. Or was I going the right? I think I was going the right way before. Oops. I do want to get magic hammer though here. If I can. Crap. Yep, I knew he was going to die from that. But yeah, my bad on that. I thought I was going the... I thought I was going back before, but this is the right way right here. I was right the first time. Okay, we got no new enemy here. Bone Dragon. And apparently it can paralyze you. So typically... Rapid fire, since there's two enemies that will hit each enemy four times, but usually that doesn't happen for me. It happened that time though. But usually I'll attack the same enemy over and over again. A lot of the times. See, I hit that one Drake six times. Which is good because I, take, I took it out, but... There we go, got him. Rapid fire is such a good ability with the ninja. There we get cottage. I will start cut out, cutting out battles that we already sh that I've already shown before. Alright, the Chemist Mastered uh, Mix, which is a very powerful ability, like, combine items to create concoctions that can be consumed in battle to augment stats or harm enemies. So good, just like, it's just like Mix in Final Fantasy X, except it doesn't require a limit break. I guess Swernick said... That it, that mix was so overpowered in Final Fantasy V that they decided to make it an overdrive instead of just having Riku just be able to use it 
all the time. So that's how powerful it is. I think Dragon Fangs are really good as well. Crap. Still have not learned Magic Hammer yet. Okay, let's fall down here. Nice, leads to a chest. 7,000 gil, alright. Go ahead and press that switch. Aha, it opens up a secret passage. Very nice. Let's go back upstairs here. Aha! Okay, here we go. Help, you gotta help me. Alright, so let's help it out here. As you can tell, it's uh, getting attacked by the bone dra dragon and the zombie dragon. Don't use rapid fire, because that'd be bad, obviously. Oops, I didn't mean to heal there, but... Well, they got a lot of defense. Let's see here. Um, I'll use the ether. That's kind of bad. Get protect on the golem. Boost its defense so I can survive for longer. There we go. And now we gotta take out the zombie dragon as well. Whatever you do, don't use rapid fire. I think I said that earlier, maybe. I'm not sure if I said that or not, but if you use rapid fire, you'll attack the golem. That's really bad, obviously. Okay. You mix. Uh, it's okay. I don't really remember the good mixes, honestly. 
But unfortunately, we got protects. Okay. There we go. And you get the golem as a summon. All right. I'm not sure if you're supposed to attack him or just let him like, let him say all that or whatever. But whatever, I attacked him anyway. Alright, let's continue on here through Drakenvale. Still got three more chests to get here. There's two of them right there. Actually, there's three, there's three of them right there. Okay, we get a Hypno Crown. And Wind Slash. A fiercely sharp katana that strengthens wind magic. A crown that increases the success rate of manipulating enemies. But you can just equip the hypno crown as like an item too. It's pretty decent. Boost magic defense and magic. It's pretty good. Go ahead and equip that on. Lena there. There we go. Magic Hammer. On the learner. So I can learn Magic Hammer after this battle. And there you go. Magic Hammer. Learn from the Drippy. Uh, you can also learn it from Bibelos. But I didn't get it earlier. So. Got it now. Okay, Phoenix down. And it's all the chest here in this area. There's a place where you can use a cottage or a tent. Alright, so up to this point in the game we've gotten every single blue magic. Since we got the magic hammer from the drippy. We won't be able to get the next blue magic until later on. Look. Dragon grass. Uh oh. Ah. Help. What the crap was that? Grass isn't supposed to attack people. That's no grass. That's a that's a beast. A foul leafy. Leafy demon. This must be why the drakes are practically extinct. And it's boss time against dragon grass. Dragon pod. And it summons uh, four dragon flowers as well. Let's do a good rapid fire. Alright, let's go and attack. Uh, you would think this boss would be weak to um, fire, but it is not weak to fire. Let's do Dragon Fang with a uh, high potion here. Let's do Dragon Power. This will raise, uh, the, raise the character's level by 20. Uh, which will vastly increase your damage that you do. Ooh, nice crit there. Yeah, I don't really need to do that again, though. I think killing just the... Or I think using it just on the ninja alone, alone is enough. Because Rapid Fire is doing a ridiculous amount of damage to it. There we go. Got it. Dragon Pod defeated. 
So as long as you use dragon power plus rapid fire, you'll be able to take it out uh, rel relatively quickly. And for defeating the boss, you get 10 ability points. Very nice. Uh, we also get you also get a phoenix down and elixir for defeating it as well. The dragon grass. Look, come on, let's take some and go. Obtain dragon grass. Very nice. This is what we came here for. Yeah, now we gotta do is just get out of here and we'll be good. Uh, obviously not gonna show me getting out of here. I don't think there's like a shortcut out of here either. I could be wrong though. Alright, so I'm just gonna get out of here. That'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode and later.